They can be heard. And I think they can be heard now. You should be. Hello. Wondering. Hello. How's it going? Doing great. How are you, Ethan? How's our levels? Are we sounding good? You sound good. Everything's looking cool. good. Yeah. Um, sound great. Except for these saggy tits over here. <laughs> That's not looking great. Could be better. Gravity's got them. <laughs> Gravity has been proven uh, here on the kill stream now. Okay. So, you know, usually I do these interviews just off the top, right? Uh, and so that's how we're going to do it tonight uh, as well. Welcome to the show, uh, Autistic Boobs, also known as Mint Salad, uh, and Riley, also known as Young Clippa, uh, here on the stream. Now, c certain things, of course, can't go into because of uh, things, yeah, stuff of that nature, et cetera. Uh, and so I, I understand that, but, um, what's the, what has it been? Has it been two full weeks now? Uh, a week or a week and a half. I, I'm not sure how long it's been a week, I guess, like eight it's days. Only been right? like seven days. Yeah. Yeah. It's only been like seven days. So, um, what can you talk about? Uh, Riley how's, how's things been going the last seven days? Well, things are going great now. Uh, it's nice being home where everybody knows where I'm at. <laughs> and they can call the cops on me anytime they want. Uh, That's fortunately, I haven't had drugs since Denver. Uh, and I guess I'll just never have drugs again, ever. Uh, I've lost all of my freedoms in this country. Over my free speech, right to protest bad art and make fun of rich people who are dumber than I am. Yeah, and I, and I so I'll dance around some things too, but I... Again, there's certain things you can't say, but my take was, and you don't have to comment on it if you don't want, uh, my whole thing was just invite the guy in, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, it would have been more fun. Uh, you guys had the numbers advantage. Uh, I think it would have been good content for everybody, but that's not what happened. Uh, and some other things occurred. Yeah. And, um, you know, we won't get into the specifics of what occurred. But uh, my whole take was, you know, just just invite them in, have fun. Well, you know. you know, for as much as everybody's pretending like this is news, nothing new has actually happened. The incident report that nobody knew was a warrant is from over a year ago, right? It's from a year ago, well, I guess less than a year ago. Yeah. But uh, that bunny thing is like old news by now to everybody, the bunny stickers. So, you know, we'll see how it goes in court. Uh, apparently, it's illegal to annoy or embarrass people in Texas. Uh, and so I might, you know, I might have to really deal with proving that I, that I didn't embarrass Eric July uh, I hope there's a lot of videos of him saying that he hasn't even paid me any mind. I hope that's out there. <laughs> no, no way. Those couldn't exist. Uh, <laughs> I, I also know I didn't scare or threaten him. So I, I just hope there's no videos that say he's not, he's not even annoyed by me at all. Pays no, <clears throat> pays you no mind. I hope no videos like that exist. Uh, also, without you know getting too technical i've i've read the statute it's kind of uh weird uh, actually <laughs> i'm not i'm not sure i've seen one quite like that also ben thorpe said he was gonna have me put in jail today too so who knows maybe uh maybe we'll be a pen pals <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh but uh yeah. yeah he's an interesting character uh wild barracuda uh i would say as well so you know if you're in the streaming game long enough i guess you'll get threatened with things like this but um one of the things uh, that I wanted to talk about uh, is this obvious uh, setup job that has, it's not to do with what happened or didn't happen uh, in Dallas. Uh, it has to do with uh, portraying mint salad as, as some type of like person who can't make her own choices or, you know, a low IQ, however you want to put it. Um, and in my dealings with her, first off, she got, she's got a mean punch. Uh, I can say that for one. Uh, and second off in all my dealings with her, um, you know, high, high level conversing and DMS, right. That's not you and her DMS. I can tell the difference between you two. Uh, that's another yeah. thing. He runs all her DMS and he says all this and that first off, you wouldn't be dumb enough to do that because well, it would threaten her account for one. Um, yeah. and, and then second off, I can just tell the difference and, uh, you know, she doesn't strike me and she can answer for herself, uh, here in just a second. But, uh, you, you never struck me as, as, as low IQ whatsoever, man. I think it's because I joke all the time that my IQ is 69 and it's an obvious joke. 
Honestly, but, I've been trying to convince everybody she's too, too stupid to make her own choices for years. I'm very excited about this new rhetoric. Everybody keep it up. Uh, I personally agree with you. Now, she may still find <laughs> this to be defamatory, and she may not agree with me agreeing with you guys, but Kino Casino, keep it up. You're doing a great job. No! Well, that's, my girlfriend's really dumb. No. Well, that's so still about 15 IQ points higher than Andy Worski. Uh, so, um, you know, I... <laughs> Worski calling people somebody keep... low IQ is like just next level type shit, uh, I have to say. Well, but uh... PPP is doing to Worski what they're saying that I'm doing to men. That's right. Like, <laughs> like I'm going to own this guy. I'm going to pimp him out for content because he's too stupid to know otherwise. And that's exactly <laughs> what he does. Uh, and I don't I've know. I've meant to get beaten up by an Asian guy in London. <laughs> Good. Good <laughs> Influencer boxers, hit her up. I will force her to sign any contracts you need. I'll just do the influencer <laughs> boxing. I want to punch people in the face. You need influencer well, boxing. I know that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, again, you know, through, and all that's old history, whatever. You know, I joke about it. Um, the And I won't belabor the point, but the, the thing that happened back then, no longer a factor uh, in my life. I'll just say that. And um, thank God that it is no longer a factor. Um, and none of that stuff would yeah. happen without that and i have a lot of regrets about that era and you know i won't get into it too much because i'm not legally allowed to actually um yeah. but uh you know a lot of things went down yeah nda yeah. right nda that's gay uh it's especially gay when it's issued by a uh, court of law and so uh you know I, I won't get into it but uh you know looking Worst back case scenario, right it's like yeah. having your free speech fucking gagged yeah. literally government i know all about yeah. it i know all about it uh and so you know it is what it is but uh mint has always struck me as somebody who, who could take care of herself quite well uh and their whole narrative me with items around the house <laughs> uh, she steps on my feet when i tell a joke she doesn't like she stomps on me yeah so she's always struck me too ralph <laughs> <laughs> but like there's this whole thing. Uh, she needs to be saved. And uh, Eric July. So first off, Polly Frog, who's a heroin addict, smackhead, and you know, you know, do what you want to do, right? But that's just the fact of the matter. And he put out this thread, and I said, if this thread ain't deleted by the time I start the show tomorrow, you're gonna wish it was. Well, he did delete the thread, and then one of Josh Moon's lackeys, the um, Mad at the Internet archiver, on his personal account. His other account's been banned. Uh, reposted the thread, and Eric July uh, retweeted it uh, with the same thing he said the night before. Uh, and they're really big on this. Uh, Mint needs to be saved, and they're pulling up clips. And I saw this dick show live, uh, you know, when uh, I guess it was your dad or somebody called in or whatever. Uh, and I don't know if people understand this, but perhaps they should. When, when a person is 18 years or older um they're allowed to do whatever they want to do with their life uh and <laughs> it doesn't matter if their parents like it uh it doesn't matter if people watching the show like it uh it doesn't matter if uh you know some shitty comic book artist doesn't like it um yeah unless people... it's annoying in texas right you know, in that case then <laughs> an adult can do anything but be annoying in texas don't mess with texas <laughs> but like you know, you don't have to co-sign um, decisions people make, but, uh, you know, not everybody's co-signed every decision I've made uh, in my life, and I don't even. <laughs> I was just talking about some of them I don't co-sign uh, in the past, right? Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, it's my understanding, you know, without, you know, I have to reveal, you know, uh, your income or anything. My understanding is uh, you do pretty well uh, off of off of your content, right? Uh, and uh, so, yes. right? Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, yeah. I think no, that's fair, I think that's fair to say. Uh, and again, people don't have to like it. They can say, "Oh, that's bad. That's terrible." But um, you know, yeah, but what's it, it wrong pays with the bills. You, man? Like, why are you? What's wrong with you that you're doing all that? What's what? Yeah, that you're being like that, huh? When which way? What are you why talking are you such about? A fucking whore. Why am I a yeah, whore? Why am I a Satanist whore? Why am I a Satanist? That's your question. Well, okay. I don't know where to start, but it all starts Nightwave with Radio both sets of my parents not New raising state me. Motto should be you're not allowed first to mess of all, with Texas. and if they didn't want me to be a whore, they should have raised me. I'm just saying. That would have been a good option. <laughs> your official yeah. answer. 
Yeah, this is the court of public opinion. Okay, <laughs> you're in the center of the Ralph Famale Cinematic Universe on Ethan Ralph's show, talking to him about this. This is gonna be the most clipped appearance you'll ever have in your life. This will come back 30 years from now, and they'll be like, "Look, look, this is proof." All right. Well, she has a, a 43 IQ. Here's the official story because I saw a clip from me trying to explain this four years ago, and I couldn't at all speak. Uh, but luckily, it's all those mint salad sauces I've been doing that's helped me learn how to speak. But mm. all right, here's the official story. Zero to five. I was in a house surrounded oh God, it's with. It's gonna be way too autistic now. I need yeah. A fucking... All right, you fucking bitch. This is what you asked for. Uh, <laughs> zero to five. In a house surrounded with seven other siblings, neglected, not at all, raised, was allowed to roam myself. And then Kiosman I got taken into the foster care system when I was in, and I got in like 2006 or whatever. Then I got sent the through the foster no house, uh, the foster care system through like five different houses. And then I got adopted by some Christians who only wanted to adopt me in order to put the, put their social status on a pedestal and they used me as a social symbol and when i showed signs of wanting to become a graphic artist you know if you're a good parent you'd you'd want to encourage what your children want you to uh, want to do with their life what they want to do with their career and my passion was art they were like for like 10 years until I barely, uh, before I even like left the house before college, like the month before I left the house for college, it took them this long to be convinced that I could do graphic design as a career because they wanted me to be a software engineer for like 10 whole years. And they kept me inside my house pretty much. They didn't really let me do anything. They just, they sheltered me pretty heavily as like, what is it called when you um, overcompensate? They're trying to overcompensate for me being neglected, so they heavily sheltered me. And, you know, that does that does things to a person. And so I was like, you know what? I'd rather just, uh, instead of being forced to uh, learn graph, uh, not uh, being forced to learn, what is it called? Software engineering. I wanted to be a graphic designer. And do you want to know why the reasons they didn't want me to be a graphic designer? Why? Because it's not marketable, and you can't make money off of it. Those are the reasons. Those are like the complete opposite reasons. Of why I was gonna say that. I don't think that's you. true. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> like I had to be like, hey, you know that clock over there that you see that you like? That was graphic design. Oh, okay. Well, you still can't do it as a job. Tap well, an annihilator sent ten dollars uh, okay. on Rumble. And so, how much weight did mid game you know, while Riley wasn't to around leave to keep her in check? My house. I actually was at in college. I uh, was at college, and then I met Riley, and then I wanted to go to Riley's house, and so I did. And I don't know, I didn't ask my parents, but then they're like, oh, freak out. Arr. We're going to cut you off from literally everything, health care, every you sound dental retarded. care. Like you do sound <laughs> I sound retarded. Okay. Act it, look it. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't know how to tell a very good story without. Um... That's true. Well, didn't you make a point. You're not a broadcaster. Yeah. Well, that's what There's I was going to say. Rock. I want to say something that I said on air the other day. So, first off, mint salad. Uh, we met under certain circumstances many years ago, four years ago, actually. And there was a group of friends and associates or whatever. Uh, Proud boys. It yeah, rally. yeah, and I I won't get into the dirty pool that was being played by some and telling me one thing behind the scenes and another thing to other people and all this. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, and that whole thing devolved into a thing that I can't talk about, but whatever. Um, so when I first met Mint Salad, like I, I think maybe we said two or three sentences uh, to each other, uh, and that's not a knock on her. Um, she just didn't have the gift of gab. I talked about this on air the other day. I was born with that. I was born being able to talk to anybody, being able to run my mouth. Like when I was a kid, I was talking to adults. I was sitting at the adult table, running my mouth about politics. Like that's just something I was born with. Well, most people aren't born with that actually, right? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a gift. They call it the gift of gab. It's just something you're, you're born with. Now you can improve it. And I've seen mint salad personally improve you know her ability to communicate and get her words out there and make all these videos and she's worked quite hard at it actually and i'll let this play CEO and i'll read a, a, a few of Rumble. these thank you um, for, admit for not killing yourselves folded hands nda
more like ND gay. But it's but it's not Haka something Haka. it's not something you're born with. Uh, most people aren't, right? Uh, but it is something you can learn. It is something you can improve at. Uh, and you can, yeah, some things you are born with too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are other things. Proven. There are other things you can be born with too. That's true. Um, now, <laughs> uh, Nightwave Radio uh, in the chat says, "New state motto should be: You're not allowed to mess with Texas." Uh, <laughs> I see, and I'll, I'll read through some more. Tepid Annihilator and Kiosk Man. I will play your song. I just want to get some of this in, and we'll we'll take a little break. I think we're gonna do an IQ test live on air. Actually, uh, is what Job we were talking about. Dollars, Ben and Grace make a man sick. Thank you for sending. Yeah, her I can't to the say all the things realm. I want to say. Yes, so that's true. I'm too. gonna pawn it off to Mint and make you guys do an IQ test live. Yes, we're gonna do but one come live. Back. I'll give you a, a better exclusive when I can spew venom. Yes, I know, and I completely understand. And there's some venom I'd like to spew too. And uh, you know, oh <laughs> venom. Oh boy, uh, don't get me started. Uh, I'll just say almost one year ago to the day um, that I was um, last uh, allowed to see a connection of mine. I'll just say it like that. And uh, so there's a lot of things uh, I could I could say. Uh, it would just get me in trouble though. So uh, no point no point in doing that. But uh, I think people can connect the dots. Uh, but anyway. Um, Tepid Annihilator, let me read through some, I don't know if I read that one or not, uh, says, how much weight uh, did Mint gain while Riley wasn't around to keep her in check, uh, is what that super chat said there, I don't Answer, know. bitch, 25 kilos. <laughs> which is like 60 pounds or so, something like that. But I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't believe that either. Uh, Koof <laughs> says, thank you, Clippa and Mint, for not killing yourselves. NDA, more like ND gay, haka haka, uh, is Woo. what they said there. Uh, and again, Kiosk, don't get mad. I will play your song. It's just I want to get some of this interview going here. Um, do we have an IQ test? So I took one on air, and I think mine was like 112, 115, something like that. Uh, and, you know, not super high, but it was decent. And I had to pay $15, though, uh, oh. for the test. So, like, I'm, I'm not – we got to find – a, a one that's free basically we there, there's a better one even i think that's free uh so we'll see if somebody in chat can help me out with that uh an Come iq on, test chat. i know somebody's got one out there and we'll and we'll take one live um and they're really kind what of are we weird. aiming for what's a pass fail well i mean if she, gets, if she gets ahead of me i am gonna be a little offended but uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's no chance of that Ralph. Don't oh, and well. and Texas. Uh, i still think i would have did better uh but it was live on it's kind of high pressure to take one of these yeah it's kind of high pressure to take one of these on air uh actually so uh Koof if said it's under 70 I promise to fuck her only on camera so everybody knows it's ethical. <laughs> <laughs> there needs uh, to be accountability if I'm going to fuck a retard. Coof said, ain't nothing but steers, queers, and chickens in Texas, uh, is what he says there as we approach uh, the goal. Now, somebody's got to link me uh, an IQ test, NDA. That's right. That's right. Hold it up high and proud. Also, we have callers. If you want to call in, now I expect some of these to be uh ridiculous but uh but we'll see maybe not all uh will be ridiculous raise your hand if you want to call in agartha's still here did you want to say anything else agartha yeah i'm still here um a question for riley and mint does um does dick masterson have any dirt on you because that seems to be the Jesus. insinuation amongst everybody is that dick has like some sort of little black book on everybody and it's not just friends covering for each other do you really no, believe that? No, no, wait, I don't on. believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. I, I was just wondering if you actually believe that because no. they say that Dick's like this mob boss. I'll say this again on air. Yeah. Dick Masterson they're, has they're never told me to do anything in my life. Uh, and I'm same for him. I've never told him to do anything. Uh, and that's yeah. just not how he operates uh, at all. Uh, when he, when so. he had a YouTube channel and I was putting clips up, he didn't even tell me what to do then. So. Yeah, that's just not, he's not that guy. I know that's the, um, you know, uh, image that Josh Moon wants to project out there. Um, but Dick Masterson, I'll say this, not to glaze him too hard, uh, one of the best people I know in life uh, has done so much to help me, could have disavowed me at any time, probably would have made it easier uh, on himself, actually. Uh, but that's just not how he operates. And I can't say enough good things about him. Uh, so that's just my opinion. But if you guys want to weigh in, does he have any dirt on you? What does he have on you, man? He has nothing on me. I'll also say that he give, um, like, um, 
like the direction he gives. What were you saying something about direction? Because I had I had a thought because he doesn't give the uh, TDS thumbnail artists any uh, direction in yeah, he which. Tell anyone what to do. Yeah. It's a weird thing. It'd be, it'd be he doesn't. Thing if he was like telling anyone what to do, but he almost specifically doesn't. Literally, the only criteria <laughs> is you gotta have Dick's face in it and like no excessive <laughs> gore. That's pretty much He's it. He's not doing like a mafia thing, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, that's not him. Having fun Sopranos, like Comic Skate is, where you got to pitch in and, and the, each other out. And... Right. And the only time he's ever, like, if I've asked him for advice on something, he'll give me his advice. Right. Yeah. Uh, and he'll say, hey, bro, yeah, I think maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do that. Uh, that's the only time he would ever, like, weigh in on my stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, and he has. Guy. No, he's not an unsolicited advice type of guy. That's not him. Now, has there been times in my life where I said, hey, man, you know, I'm up against it right now or this I'm facing this or that. You know, what do you think? Uh, and he's given me some solid advice. One of those advice that's funny because they think he like wants me to be liquored up and all out of control. Uh, and I'll say this on air. One of those advices was, Ralph, you need to stop drinking. <laughs> Right. Like, uh, and I asked him, like, you know, what do you think I should do? He said, well, I think you should stop drinking. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I think. So that's Dick Masterson telling me that. Uh, and they all have this idea that he, you know, wants this whack pack of, of people who are all out of control. And, you know, he keeps me around to, you know, uh, like keep. Uh, you know, in madness or whatever, or he convinced Rakeda to do this and, and they're all emulating him and on his orders. It's, it's insanity basically. Um, but there is that perception out there and it's because of one man and that man's name is Josh Moon, who feels like he has been basically, um, rejected by his daddy. Uh, and he's, he's acted well, like this for years and it's bizarre. Uh, it's bizarre behavior. Uh, and so he's come up with this Dick orders this or Dick tells Ralph to do that or so-and-so to do that when nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, and you guys could finish up some thoughts on that if you want. But. Well, there's <clears throat> there's also common influences in all the people that keep being attributed to copying Dick or trying to do his lifestyle. And it's just yeah, that we're all into the, the American road warrior pirate Mint is like, getting a freedom on her IQ subset test. of values. Not because she's smart. You know, Nick Rikada, you, me, Dick, right even, answers. we're all Hunter Thompson fans. <laughs> right. We it's all not are. like freedom started with him, with Dick. That's right. And we all are big HST fans, actually. I'm glad you mentioned that. All right, now. Yeah. Even Shortsdale sent $5 couple more super on chats. Hold on a sec. Dick Masterson once asked the question. Would you call a pedophile the N-word Ralph answered with a resounding yes on the drunken piece after Bosch? <laughs> I'll read that out. Give me a sec. Two dollars on Rumble. Mint sex traffic man. Yeah, I can't see any of it. Somewhere Mint put us. I begged Riley to free me, but he said he's unable to control her target. <laughs> no, that's strength. okay. It should pass through, but uh, long story is why it doesn't. If on the space they can hear him, but uh, Tony TGD says Mint is getting a 120 on her IQ test, not because she's smart. I think she will accidentally pick the right answers. Uh, I may have done that. Uh, so they're kind of like, a, well, the one I took, it's a, it gets a little tricky, but, um, uh, and also I need well, her to fail, Ralph. I need her to get like a 90 IQ, 90 to a hundred. I would be okay with <clears throat> but anything. What if she knocks it like one thirty, one forty, or some shit like that? Schmidt that would be like, that'd be wow. dangerous. <laughs> then she'll, she, already she already thinks she's right about everything all the time. Like all women do. But if she had a high IQ, then she would, she would be more emboldened about it. Avon Charstale in chat says, Dick Masterson once asked the question, would you call a pedophile the N-word? Ralph answered with a resounding yes on the drunken pe drunken peasants with Vouch. And uh, I do remember a little bit of that night. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tenchi says, uh, meant sex traffic me in 1990. I begged Riley <laughs> to free me, but he said he's unable to control her tarred strength. Uh, <laughs> is and so am I. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway. All right. Now, Low Watermark says, how can people give to the Riley Mint Legal Fund? Uh, and that is a good question. Somebody might have that link in chat. If not, I can put it in the chat. Uh, we got to go fund me. Yeah, we got to uh, go fund me. I'll put it in the chat right here. Uh, we got to go fund me because of, uh, you know, he's out of bail, but we got some um, oh, there it is. legal expenses to cover, like lawyers and such, court dates. Uh, to attend travel back and forth yeah. travel yeah uh just just all the expenses necessary to fight the good fight uh you know yeah and people don't understand well maybe they understand now since 
they dox you everywhere, but uh, you live across the country, right? And so you have to go back and forth. And I know a bit yeah. about, about how those costs uh, can really start to add up. Uh, it's a, in a hefty major drive. Way. Yes. And Kiosk, are you still here? I swear I'm going to play your song once we find. Does anybody have the IQ test? We'll play. Oh, is that a free IQ test right there? Okay. We'll see. IQ test. Yes. All right. I hope you get a 69. Okay. <laughs> All right, now wait. I'll I'll reload it here in a second, and I'll and I'll play his song first. Kiosk, great supporter. I'm not trying to cuck your song or anything, but uh, there's low watermark. There's the link clip Sama put in chat uh, for the GoFundMe. Let's take a few callers though, uh, and then I'll play the song, and then we'll do the IQ test. Uh, okay, cool. now let's see here. Uh, Crimsel or Crimsel, uh, who I know a little bit from the Dick Show Discord and around these circles. Uh, unmute yourself. You're live on the kill stream, sir. But you have to unmute yourself first, or else Krimkel. you can't. Hey. Is it Krimkel? See, I fucked it up. But no, you have no. you have to unmute yourself first, though, or else you can't speak. You know you know what? Sometimes it does this, too. Um, let me remove you from speakers. Hello? Oh, there you go. Okay, I was about to try the workaround. Okay, go ahead. Hey. Hello. What's up? Hello, sir. You're live. Hello. Right? Hello. Do you have a question or comment? Uh, I mostly just want to say that uh, anyone choosing to continue to lie about the two of them is personally involved in this family um, and, and, this, and they can never escape it. Wait, wait, That's oh, really oh, it, though. Oh, well, one second, one second. They're pouring in, and I appreciate all the support, but just get your comment in, and then we'll, we'll play them all. I swear we'll play them all. And thank you guys for the support. Oh. Repeat what you just said, though, and One Man Army is a great guy. But go ahead, repeat what you said. Uh, anyone continuing to lie about the two of them or Vito and Dick about human trafficking and other such things are choosing to personally involve their family and children and honestly their friends and employers and employers' families and their employees and employees' families and anyone they've ever known and cared about. That's really it. I agree. That's uh their choice. They've done it and they can never undo it. Nothing will forgive it. Even that guy who deleted his post after retracting his statement undid the retraction by deleting it. And everyone he knows and loves is still responsible for it. That's really all. Uh, I should probably stop now, though. No, that's okay. And I agree with you. Said. And, you and you reminded me of something else. And I'll, and I'll also say this. So after we got into a, a, a three-on-one brawl, well, maybe not three-on-one. There was another person there, but I won't get into that. Uh, and so, although they weren't doing much defense, but anyway, regardless, um, <laughs> I won't get into all that. So after we had that and it's all over the place and it still is i'm a hundred pounds slimmer now though so i look a little bit better but uh you know wasn't at the top wasn't in uh, my top form uh, i guess you could say at the time and so um i went into the dick show discord and i feel terrible about this now i thought it was an obvious shit post at the time uh it is. but it is still a is. shit post it is a shit post but I went in the Dick Show Discord, and I was mad about, you know, the footage, and I was mad about everything that's going on, and I had a grudge, quite frankly. And I said um, something like, uh, I said that me and Mint had sexual relations, which we did not, uh, and have not, never, any such thing. And I said, Riley said it was no big deal that friends of the show could sample Mint. Now, I thought this was an obvious, like, obvious bullshit right um but they've been posting but they've been posting that screen as if it's evidence of like some massive uh you know sex trafficking thing and ralph admitted it no ralph was just talking shit because he was mad uh that mint got in a couple heavy blows uh into his noggin uh and so that's why i said that and um i did get one retaliating uh blow but it wasn't actually a punch but we won't go into that uh <laughs> <laughs> but it was a wild night. Uh, and so I shouldn't have said those things. I've apologized to her already for saying those things. I think we, I said this on air last time you were on, uh, but I apologize again for saying that. Uh, and to you as well, Riley, I shouldn't have taken it there. Uh, I thought it was obvious bullshit. Uh, but now you've seen the same faggots who took it as bullshit at the time, uh, yeah. hol holding it up as like exhibit A evidence. Oh, here's Ralph saying this when it was just me talking shit. Well, that's the annoying part, right? Like you, you and I talking shit aside, the annoying thing is people, people from the Kino Casino going, "Oh man, how how could you have been salad as a guest and exploit her autism?" Like, bro, they had me on. She was on the second episode. Said three dollars. How do I become a friend of the show? And that's why you hate the, those of us who do. 
Uh, I stand by my belief that I can Tony make fun TGG of Eric July because he flagged Rumble. my Twitter account. It's obvious men to uh, there's no harassment because, because we're going back and forth. He's, right now, he's did. shouting out the Kino Casino on his social media. I saw it. Okay? There's no fucking chance that this is a harassment or stalking charge that sticks. That's my um, opinion as well. Um, yeah. And there's but, uh, a lot of reasons for that. But yeah, go Using ahead. stuff you or Mint has said against me and Dick, uh, you know, especially all this kind of keeps circling back around to like using each other against each other. Yes. Tell you something Merch said to try to fuck with Ralph. Tell you something Dick said to fuck with Ralph. Yes. Tell you something Ralph said to fuck with Nick. And it's like, we all like each other. So you guys just look retarded all the time. And, yeah, it uh, doesn't work. And you know what? Dick, to his credit, <clears throat> friend of yours, friend of mine, he never got involved in any of that. He never said, oh, I can't fuck with Riley anymore. I can't fuck with Ralph anymore. Even that's just the type of guy he is. Like, he Kino just, has that's Andy their Morsky thing. Let me stay out of it and turn it out yeah. to be the best decision ever because now we're all cool. And so, I don't know. It, 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 he's, he's, um, He's a man of high character in my opinion. And so uh, now let me read these out. Um, Tony TGD says, it's obvious Mint and Ralph have never hooked up because the Ralph Mel would have knocked her up. <laughs> well, I do have a, a bit of a potent track record there, but uh, we won't go into that. Uh, Avon Charstell says, Kino Casino has Andy Worski on every week and he's way more retarded than Mint Salad. That is true. Uh, I want to see him take a live IQ test on the next Kino Casino. Yes. See if he gets higher than Mint Salad. All right, we're going to do that. We'll play these songs. Grugman says, let's go for a buck. Grugman sent $1 on Rumble. Or Grugman, let's as go, they oh, say oh, there. Oh. And it looks like we're getting really close to the goal. Actually, I think we might have just hit it uh, after yeah, I refresh this cash. Money, everybody. 61 days in a row. All right, let's run through some more calls here, and then we'll do the song, then we'll do the IQ test, and I'll try to think of a couple other questions. Damn, they're rolling in. Uh, Penchy92 sent $2 on Rumble. Remember, Worski got an IQ score of 100 live on air with JF. If she yes. gets 101, she gets to call PPP a retard trafficker. Yeah, and I don't believe the score that he got, by the way. He got 100. I'm not buying that whatsoever. Now, mine was higher, um, but, yeah, I don't really you believe that. Is this the Mensa you test? Do you have to pay to take this test, or is this free? Because the one I got, to, they charged me 50. Now, I went ahead and paid it because I was like, fuck, I just sat through a fucking 30-minute test, and so uh, I went ahead and paid it. But uh, go ahead, Droopy Drawers. We're going to run through these callers. Lightning round, go. Hey, uh, Ethan, uh, Mint, and Riley. Mint, I just had a quick question for you about the gentleman who uh, snuck up behind you in the parking lot. I think you handled yourself really well. I thought Me it was too. hilarious. But how, how did you feel whenever that was happening? Did you feel threatened? Yeah. You know, it's weird to have, you know, it's weird to be like at 11 p.m. at night alone in Dallas and you're just walking around alone at night and then three guys circle you that's fucking scary i didn't know what their intentions were yeah and that's... i didn't even know there were three people i only seen one on the video yeah there was one on the video i didn't show it because i'm a retard uh in a meta in a metaphorical <laughs> sense <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. uh, but there was a guy there was a guy off to the very uh this is what is this the left very off to the left Peripheral. and then there's a guy right behind me yeah. who is filming me so, so that guy has footage somewhere and that would be weird well, even if you weren't in a hot den of enemies so, right yeah, that would be yeah. weird well, in i think locations. you did a great job keep it up guys you're all doing great including you Ethan. good job guys thank you brother i appreciate it uh, yeah, and, yep. I, and I sent her a message after said, I thought she handled it with great poise. Uh, and I said the same thing to Dick. I was like, I thought she handled herself great. Uh, and our boyfriend just got, got carted away and it's just her out there. And of course all these East love cocksucker. I won't get into my beef with certain she didn't other use people any there. Slurs, Ralph. No, she didn't. Never. I would never use a She slur. didn't go to our, our PR school. <laughs> 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 now that I sent her a message, I was like, really poise is the word for it. Uh, because yeah. you know, if she was so, you know, out of it crazy uh you know she wouldn't have been able to handle herself uh okay now uh got respecter 88 650 i'm presuming this is a troll but uh go ahead lightning round are you there are you there gun respecter unmute yourself if you are because if not you'll have to go this guy's disrespecting the gun right i know now. i thought he was a gun respecter Go ahead. You're unmuted now. You can speak. Oh my God. 
All right, Gunt Respector, you've disrespected the Gunt. Get out of here. Okay, now let's take another caller. Maybe try can't again take later. Disrespect. No, nah, we at can't all. have any Gunt disrespectors around here. All right, now, uh, <laughs> not Koof, unmute yourself. You're live on the kill stream. Okay. You're here, but you're not saying anything. Are you jacking off on air? What's going on here? The real IQ test. Let's have Mint try to call in via Twitter space one day. <laughs> and if she could do it. Hey, Ralph. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I think a gun respecter uh, got punted off. Uh, well, I just took him off the college because he wasn't so, saying anything. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, this is Koof. Uh, thank you for not killing yourself, Mint Riley. Uh, hopefully, uh, just want to say, just want to wish you guys, uh, good luck on your trial, on your upcoming trial. Truth and justice will prevail. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for calling. Only out. one sure. truth will prevail. Like in Detective Conan. <laughs> so. All right. Let's see. Uh, Tony Macaroni. No, I don't like this guy. You're not calling him. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> Uh, he, <laughs> called in, he called in on some bullshit last time. He can suck a cock and choke to death on it, actually. Uh, now, let's see. Go ahead, Kognaya Chan. Unmute yourself. If it'll connect. Where's all the hard hitting questions? I Can know. I, uh, go ahead. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, hey, what's going on? Thank you, Mr. Ralph, sir, for letting me on your on your stream. You're welcome. Uh, I have a question for uh, Clippa and uh, Mint Salad, if that's okay. okay. That's okay. That's the point. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Um, hey, have you guys ever watched Cog's World? And also, oh, if okay. you could watch Cog eat one thing, what would it be? Uh, I've not seen Cog's World. Wait, Cog's oh, World or Cog's World? I, uh, I couldn't Cog, tell. You haven't seen Cog? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, streamer you'll ever watch. I mean, Ralph is great, right? Love Ralph, but you, you guys gotta watch Cog. Yeah, you gotta. He watch drinks Cog. coffee. He it's drinks amazing. coffee. I know it's amazing. He eats curry. He's a great guy. Rotten teeth. He and drinks everything. coffee. Was that the pitch? <laughs> Literally. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Right. Uh, he, he, watch, he watches your videos too and stuff. He's a he's a fan of yours. Yes. Check him out. Yes. Yes. He's a he's a great. So that's, be a fan uh, of that, 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 that's just my. Uh, that's, That's my cell here. I'm trying to tell everybody to go watch Cog. Yeah, definitely. All right, get out of here. All right, now, uh, also, I saw a super chat that came in that I didn't get to read. Uh, it was, I think it was from Anonymous, and it said, how do I become a friend of the show? Okay, I got it. Um, all right, now, let's see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where is, okay, let me see. We're getting more callers here. All right, Gunt Respector. Then we'll do the songs, then we'll do the IQ, and then we'll probably wrap. Go ahead. Unmute yourself. Fixed it. What? Fixed it. What? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Awesome. Can we just say everyone in this chat hates pedophiles, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. I could say that, yeah. Everyone okay, so if everyone, if everyone hates pedophiles, why did you impregnate a pedophile, Ralph? I don't why know what did you're you talking about. Why did you give her, her a kid and leave her alone to molest it? Did I do what? I don't know who you're talking about. Why did you impregnate Pansu and who? leave her with the kid alone to molest? I don't know who you're speaking you're about. Person? Pansu I'm the whore. Have you heard of that question? I, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure who that is, actually. Do you guys know who that is? No. No. Mm. Anyway, nice try. Now, let's weird take another call. caller. I thought that was a weird me, call. Yeah, I was, I was like, who is that? I've not heard that name before. Oh, man. He seemed really upset about it, though. Maybe it's somebody from his past. I'm not sure. But, Maybe he uh, should impregnate someone. And <laughs> <a little> better. <laughs> All right, J.D. Power, go ahead. Hello? Yes, go ahead. You're live on the kill stream. Hi there. Um, I heard that uh, Clip, while in jail, started a gang and then managed to take over the jail. Is uh, there any truth to these rumors? He's holding a NDA. Sign He's, he, he says NDA. <laughs> NDA. All right, thank you. you. Can't answer that. Thank you though for that question. And I confirm nor deny. <laughs> the Clipperverse gang in Dallas, Fort Worth. 
<laughs> All right. Also, yeah, I think that guy called into the wrong show, Tony G, uh, TGG, uh, TGD in chat. Yeah, I don't know. He seems to be mixed up a little bit. Uh, now, let's see here. Did they really think that was going to – whatever. I won't get into it. Uh, Joe Bing, <laughs> is that really going to throw me off? I mean, come on, man. Like, step your game up. Uh, you didn't Joe even Bing, get with that one. Come yeah, on. no, it's like, oh, God, come on. That was your big chance. All right, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Speak. What up? Uh, you boys hear me or what? Yeah. Yep. All right, two things. First, Ralph Amell, what the fuck, brother? I fucking sent you a super chat. You gassed me on that one. Which one? Oh, look back, son. You'll see it. Tonight? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll look back. I'm not trying to cheat anybody out of any super chats. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I will look back. You can say it right I now on air if you'd like. Second question I especially for want to hear things that are negative towards Mint. Yeah. No, no, no. I have a question for Riley. Okay, what, well. What's uh, um, the situation with the towel and the eye and the, uh, the mug shot, brother? Did you actually get maced, or what was the situation there? Noel's going to have to put some money up to find out, I think, at this point. <laughs> you use the body cam footage? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's going to have to get that stuff and pay a couple bucks if he wants to know. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a FOIA on that bad bitch. <laughs> yeah, have fun. I did a whole podcast for the cops. Like, that was the point of it. Is to them out. So there's an official record of everything that's happened to me as I remembered it in that moment. All right. Anyway, thanks for having me on, boys. Peace. Appreciate you, man. And sorry I missed your super chat. That was not my fault. But well, I guess it was actually. But I'm sorry. Uh, okay. We can now, mint when she's here. That's right. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do now? Get ready. I don't see anybody else with their hand raised, but I do have two songs to play because they sent them in and they pay me ten dollars to play these songs. So get oh, ready. Yeah. It should be about eh, I don't know six to nine minutes or so. Uh, so get, get ready. Here. Get prepared. Now, I'm going to send this test over. Is this free or not? Uh, it's supposed you to be about... You want to work out some kind of a... Uh, Ralph, we'll pay you for it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Happens. I mean, I, I hate to sound like a cheapskate, but the last one really fucked me over, and I was super pissed when I got to the... Because yeah. after you do the whole test, it's like, okay, well, I have to pay these cocksuckers now. Uh, no, I because, agree. You know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, it's a fucking scam. I think Everybody this one... send in your power chats. Yes. $50... I... I think Lots this one might be free, but there it is uh, in the links. Uh, I'm going to play these songs, uh, and you I'm guys can – Yeah, now. I was about to say, you guys go get some water, do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm not sure how long the test will be, uh, but yeah. I'm going to take you guys off the screen, and I'll be back after these songs cool. play, and we'll I'll do the IQ test. I'll set up a better test. shot of Mint's tits for the IQ test. They're yeah, damn near the best shot. <laughs> <laughs> almost popped out once or twice. But anyway, that's okay. Uh, all right, now, uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Let's – Now – we're back. Whoa. Okay. Um, now, let me see here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me unmute you. I can't hear you just yet. Uh, okay. We're back. Um, now, let me... Do, do you have the IQ test? I don't know if I share my screen on here. Um, so. Okay. So, you don't know how? Yeah, I've never used uh, I've never used this application Google Meet. Before. Yeah, Google Meet. I'll, yeah, most people use Zoom, and um, what's the other one? I know how to do it on Streamyard. Streamyard. I know everybody uses Streamyard except for me. Uh, it's because I pay Google. Long story. I already pay them for this bullshit, so I'll go ahead and use their service. But if you click um, present now, uh, it's a little like box with an arrow in it. Oh, I uh, see it. Yeah, you should be able to present. Oh, I see. Okay, now I'm sharing it. Okay. Now there you are. Uh, well, there's the, the screen, the IQ test. Made by Mints in Norway. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll read. Let me read this. Well, All you know right. what? Yeah, go back and let me read it. I just want to. Um, well, let's restart. Yeah. This online test gives an indication of general cognitive abilities represented by an IQ score of between 85 and 145, where 100 is the population average. This test is not a sub substitute for professional intelligence tests. Da, da, da. This test cons consists of 35 puzzles in the form of visual patterns that must be solved within a 25-minute time limit. 
Participation requires neither specialized knowledge nor mathematical skills. The puzzles, which gets pro get, get progressively difficult, are weighted equally, so you get a point for each correct answer. You do not get bonus points for finishing the test early, so try to manage your time optim optimally. Also, you are not penalized for answering incorrectly, so make a guess whenever you're unsure. Adol Wolf sent one dollars on Adol Wolf sent one. Figuring out how to use Google Meet. Yes, is the first step figuring of out how to use Google Meet is the first step of the IQ. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly intuitive either, but anyway. Um, for the results to be as valid as possible, make sure you are sitting in a room that is properly ventilated and free from distractions, so that you can work uninterrupted for 25 minutes. Please select your answer age range to start the test mint salad do you want to read this part too yeah I'll, I'll read this in this example you can see a grid of nine boxes one of which is empty you have to choose which of the six alternative shapes a through f must be placed in the empty box in order to complete the pattern that connects the shapes as you can see all the shapes in the grid are black and each row contains the same shape so the correct answer is B. Now you see that? All right. Let's go. It's time right. to start. All right. You ready? Okay. Yep. Right. That one. Finish. All right. Finish. 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 125! Finish. <laughs> <laughs> Which is higher than what I scored on the test that I took. And you beat several people in the chat, by the way. Hold on, let me take a let me take a screenshot of this before we switch back. 125 is pretty high, actually, uh, on the IQ test. Uh, and I'll take a screenshot. Scroll up a little bit if you can, so it'll show the full uh, IQ test thing. Hold on, let me. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. Want... Yeah, that's good right there. 125 mint salad on the IQ test under pressure. By the way, also you you can stop uh, presenting the All screen right. now. Uh, and switch back uh, to yourself. Uh, but if you saw that, um, uh, that's close right. to mental level, actually. Uh, 130 is like... Um, what happened to my screen? It's you, gone now. You're good there now. It is. Yeah, you're good now. You're good now. So you beat the allegations. Take that, Piano Casino. Take that, Andy Worski. <laughs> Show me your fucking IQ test. Do it live on screen. Tepid Annihilator sent $5. Hold on, wait. We can't hear you, Riley. My condolences to Riley. No, 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 we can't hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's going to fix it. This big titty, big brained bimbo tricked me, sex trafficked me into revealing my little penis <laughs> so she could profit off of it on the internet. I have a way smaller IQ than Mint Salad has, like fucking 96 tops. And this bitch is profiting off of videos of my little penis. Dude, she beat think... my score. Mine was 112. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you keep quiet? Oh my god. It's dangerous to expose your IQ. Oh my god. I'm gonna tweet that out. 125 on Worski, the Worski, take uh, your IQ test. Take your goddamn IQ test live. Live. You have to take your IQ yeah, test it's different live, live. Worski. Worski, what's your score, bitch? <laughs> Eric July, take an IQ test live. We need we need to see everyone's IQ test, especially those two people. Yeah, I agree with that. What's your score? I'll put punk so it doesn't get hit in the algorithm. They don't like it when you curse as much. Uh, but I'll go ahead and put that out on Twitter. Uh, Discord 125 on the live IQ test on the kill stream. I'll get the promo. Go ahead, fill them up. Johnny Rocket sent $3 <laughs> PPP would get a zero for eating the test. <laughs> Celebration dance now. <laughs> I thought yeah. I was going to get a 69, honestly. Regardless, my attitude is this. My guy, I'm trying to go to people and say, America what first. This? What is this? And the first thing that what pops in their minds is... Oh, oh, it's Tim Pool playing in the background. I'm like, where's this coming from? Tim Pool's in my ear. Uh, somebody sent me a clip. I'm like, hold on, am I losing my mind? 125 is a very good score. Uh, and I saw somebody in the chat said they scored a 110. I had a 112 on a different test. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go back and try that. That test actually looked a little bit harder. I'm not gonna lie, uh, than the one I took. So, 125, and I liked how you were working out uh, the logic. A lot of people were impressed uh, with how you were working I've, it out. I've tried other IQ tests online. I've gotten, I've gotten between like the lowest I've gotten is like 114, and the highest I've gotten is 128, on like just random IQ tests online. 
So you so. know you were going to do pretty good. Really, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you were tricking us. You know you were going to do pretty good. Uh <laughs> yeah, look, I was a really good artist. You got to be able to have some intelligence in order to know how to do art. That's Just true. Saying. That's yeah. true. Uh, so you beat the allegations uh, live on the kill stream. Very fun, by the way. I was on the edge of my seat because I was like, what is she going to score? This is not exactly my forte. And I started, <laughs> like, towards the end of the IQ test, I was, like, getting, like, clammy in my hands and stuff. I'm like, oh, shit, what is it going to be, like, a fucking 90 or some shit? I took the 112. I'll accept that. Uh, but, yes, uh, you beat the allegations. Uh, Clouded Trigger sent $1 on Rumble. <laughs> Mint's boobs are distracting me with those swingers. I'm going to score an 80. Mint's boobs are distracting me with those swingers. I'm going to score an 80. Uh, Tepid Annihilator says, my condolences to Riley, uh, is what he said there with his super chat. Uh, a very fun appearance here uh, on the kill stream. <laughs> it's stressful to take those tests live, man, because uh, you didn't seem too stressed out. Actually, I was way more stressed out because I knew I would catch shit forever if I was to score like I under can 100. hide my stress. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so 125 IQ. I think you're perfectly capable of making your own uh, adult decisions. Uh, so, and I appreciate you coming. What else do we have to say here? Do you, Do you have uh, anything to say to the? Or my socials are at autisticboobs.com. There you uh, go. And I will also put my uh, tweet in the chat. And um, are you going to be doing anything uh, soon oh, on your channels? Before, no? um, oh. before you say anything, uh, there are some allegations that I'm being forced to do sexual acts and also forced to do piss pornography. I would like it on the record. That I have a piss fetish and it's my own doing. Okay, I choose this. I choose to do piss porn. Nobody's coercing me into doing it. I just want everyone to know that. Piss uh, fansly.com/slash piss mint salad is where you can find it. <laughs> also, I just updated it with the photo. I forgot to put the photo in. So, uh, if you want to retweet this one, it has the C -O -O photo. C O F sent two dollars on Rumble. All you know, right. Congrats, Mint. Thank you, Clipper, for not man. killing yourself. And congrats. Congrats. Hands. Yes. And uh, you know what? Somebody I used to know had that same. Uh... Well, I'll just leave it there. I'll just leave it there, man. Uh... <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to go stream on my porn site. Now. Trigger sent $1 <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Go ahead. Uh, you you earned it. You hey, earned it for Anderson sure. Uh, there's a couple more a uh, super chats, and I'll read them out. He has to take an IQ test, live on air. If he scores lower That's than true. 75, he's legally yes. retarded yes. and can't actually litigate against anyone. The balls in July's quarter has to take an IQ test. Like they're still rolling in, by the way. Uh, sent one dollars on Rumble. Says, where did you find this chick? Where did I find this chick? Well, it's a long story. Uh, one day I'll tell the whole story, but I'm legally forbidden from telling the entire tale right now. But uh, not because of anything we did. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, congratulations to you, Matt. The, and I'll read this: the balls in July's court. He has to take an IQ test live on air if he scores lower than 75 he's legally retarded and can't actually litigate against anyone uh is what a-hole said uh another one coming in from tenchi tenchi 92 sent two dollars on rumble mint you are within yes. three iq points of jf he's not interested in <laughs> tenchi says mint you are within three iq points of jf he's not interested in you <laughs> Is that lower or higher? Uh, within, yeah, is that lower or higher? I don't know. Uh, but within three, I mean, it's kind of, you know, give or take, either way there. Uh, promote your stuff once again. I put the tweet in the chat. Retweet the fuck out of that. My dumbass forgot to put the picture in there, but I got it in there now. So uh, retweet that. And thank you for doing that. Uh, you definitely didn't have to do that on air, but I thought it would be fun. So uh, You can find all of my socials, including my very spicy sites where I'm doing it very consensually. Like, as an adult who wants to do pornography, I'm doing it because I want to do it and not because I'm forced to do it. Autisticboobs.com has all of my sites, uh, but the main spicy sites, fansly.com slash titsmansalad, onlyfans.com slash titsmansalad, onlyfans.com slash autisticboobs, and twitter.com slash autisticboobs is where you can find me. There you go, and thank you so much uh, for the world exclusive uh, here tonight. You and Riley, of course, I wish both of you guys the best. Uh, I got some events coming up later in the week, uh, and I'm looking forward to those as well. Uh, do a dance. You deserve it. <laughs> 
thank you so much for coming on the show and would love to have you back sometime soon and i'll come on you guys show and once you start those back up if you want me uh and so yeah i appreciate the school you thank could easily you, yeah you're you're more than welcome you could easily did this on your own channel so thank you uh for doing it on mine and give me a good show tonight all right thank you ralph talk to you later talk to you later peace out mint salad here live on the kill stream thank you for watching this clip by colonel J. this is the king of bold here remember to like and subscribe juice